Hey guys, it's Super Ted above here, and I'm here with a small little dash code tip for you today. Okay, in this tip, I'm going to be teaching you how to get a button and linking it to a website URL uh, for your widget that you're going to be making. Okay, so open a new project or open an existing project, doesn't matter which one, just open one. Okay, and I'm going to be making a button which links uh, to google.com. Okay, it's really simple, it'll just take you a few seconds. Okay, now obviously you can link it to whatever website you want, your own website, your Twitter, your whatever. Okay, and um, so what you're going to need to do now is to click on Google, or click on the button, or the uh, piece of text that you want to hyperlink to a website to, and then click on Inspector at the top. And there's six main tabs in Inspector, and the last one is called the Behaviors tab. Make sure you check that, make sure you click on this one. And in an event it says on click, that's the very first event in the Behaviors tab in Inspector. Double click on the handlers of on click and type in Safari and then click enter. Okay, you automatically see it now it says Safari open brackets event close brackets. And then you see the code editor has just popped up and on, under here it says function safari event. Okay, and then, here, and then there's uh, two you know green slashes and it says insert code here. Okay, so just delete this. And type in the following. Okay, I I'll, I'll tell you what it means in a minute. Well, it's pretty obvious what it means. But open URL. Okay, and then type in the site URL. So Google. Okay, okay, and save your project. Okay, so this code is saying widget dot open URL and the following URL. Okay, so basically what we've done, we've linked this button here to this code here, okay? So it says function safari event. So that was the event on which when we click the button, the following happens. And the following two happen is the widget opens your URL and then the URL in this case is google.co.uk. But once again you can put any URL that you want, it doesn't matter. Okay? So save your project. I'm not gonna save in this case, but obviously you should save your project. And then run it. Okay, just test to make sure it works. Okay. And you can see it's running. So now when I click Google there we go. Safari opens, and within a few seconds, we should see Google. Yeah, there we go. Google has opened. So there we go. That's how to get a button to link to a URL in your Dashcode project. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next videos.